Okay. Trim this a little bit since my last video. Alright, listen up. I post I, I mentioned this something once before. I have another video where I was accused of neglect and abuse on my pets and killing some of them. I have this jerk that I went to high school with, junior high in fact, to high school. And um he's repeatedly accusing me on Facebook and in Facebook groups of hoarding pets and running a puppy mill. This jackass is in Ohio. Okay? He's over twenty five hundred miles away from me. He doesn't know anything about anything. I don't hoard pets. I'm not running a puppy mill. Now having more than three, but less than nine, ten, less than that amount of cats and dogs does not classify as hoarding animals. You know, he's talking about what it smells like in this house and blah blah blah. You wouldn't know Jack about anything, dude, okay? I think he, since you, you know, shave your head, your hair fell out, you wore hats, I think the sun, sun has maybe scorched your brain. I'm not hoarding animals. I'm not running a puppy mill. Okay? Now, three of the dogs I had outside, I gave, I have a male dog outside that, he, we had him fixed, we had him neutered six years ago. Last year, much as it pained me and still does, I gave away his two sisters because for they wouldn't stop fighting. I gave them away for excess fighting. I wanted to go back and get the nicer one because she was very attached to me. And, you know, I just didn't do it and it still bothered me. That's beside the point. I don't hoard animals. I don't run a puppy mill. We have a chihuahua that was spayed. She had one puppy. Okay. She almost died. She almost died afterwards. She almost starved. She lost some teeth. She wasn't eating. We had to have special care for her. We have a, 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 a dachshund that has now had her second batch of puppies. This person that I'm talking about doesn't know that. She knows about the first batch, but we don't. You know, we sold three of them. She had four puppies we sold. Three of them kept the first born. Not hoarding animals. I don't have 600 animals running around shitting on the rug. Sometimes, you know, one or two of them, when I'm not paying attention, I go clean it up, I vacuum the rug, I powder the rug. For the most part, they mostly do it outside. We don't have them all out running around together at the same time. You know, there's a few that we keep in crates once in a while, especially when we're asleep or when we're gone. Some of the other ones sleep on the bed with us. They, we treat them very well. I recently had one of my cats spayed. Because her and her sister had a batch of kittens last year. And, uh, you know, the, the skinnier one, three of her kittens died. Yes, we did keep the remaining kittens because they were too sick to give away at the time. So therefore, yes, we do have a few cats. Are we hoarding? No. We are not. I don't have 78 cats. I don't have 50 cats. I don't have 30 cats. I don't have 20 cats. I don't have 15 cats. My last older cat, which was about 16 years old, passed away last year from kidney failure. At the vet. They didn't even call us. We had to call them and go and get him. They say he died during the night, but he died that morning because he was still warm. And he was the father of those two batches of kittens. We miss him a lot. He been sick for three years. It was tough to medicate him. He was an indoor cat for 13 years. For the last three years of his life, he'd go in and out, and he was hard to medicate. He did die of kidney failure, not from neglect. We try our best. We don't have a giant batch of cats. We just have a few. A few more than some. This is the
the part where my son interrupts my video. Here he comes to whine at me. We're not hoarding dogs. We're not running a puppy mill. We had three female dogs that had puppies last year. One of them was spayed. The other one, we gave away her three puppies. We keep her away from other animals outside. She's a hound dog. She gets loose, she runs around, but we keep her locked in the room because uh, she eats kittens also. Okay, we had two years in a row. She got hold of a kitten. Got a little, you know, tried to take it to the vet. The second one this year, we tried to take it to the vet. It didn't survive. But I'm not hoarding pets, and I'm not running a puppy mill. What? I'm doing a video. Why? Did you see him do it? There's a litter box right here. Alright, I'll have to put him in the other room in a second. I'm just, let me finish this video and I'll get your sandwich and I'll take care of it. I'll go take a look and see what, what it is. I don't know if it's true. Not hoarding pets. Not running a puppy mill. Okay? You're in Ohio. You don't know dick about anything. We have a dachshund that we let, we let breed the first time. The second time was an accident. Okay? We find homes for these puppies. Now, there's not, probably not going to be a third time. Okay? We're not running a puppy mill. I don't purposely let the dogs get pregnant. I only did it one time with the docks and they let the other one have a little fun with her because we were going to breed them because they are purebred dachshunds. I haven't sent their papers in yet, but we're not running a puppy mill. And I'm not hoarding pets. I'm not one of those people you see on the news where they pull 61 dogs out of their house that have been shitting everywhere. Oops, I said shitting instead of pooping. I heard about a person who had 26 chihuahuas recently. But one of the neighbors said that that person actually took care of them, but they still got them confiscated. They also had uh. some over at their parents' house. They were also taken. People don't have rights anymore. This isn't a free country. You're not allowed to do what you want to do. People can accuse you of hoarding pets or running a puppy mill, and then they can come in and physically remove your pets. Well, I'm not doing any of that. Okay? We have a few dogs and cats, yeah. I'm not hoarding. Do you want me to tell you about all the fish we have? We have three fish in a, an aquarium. I'm not hoarding fish. One guinea pig belongs to my son. I take care of it. I'm not hoarding guinea pigs. I have eight baby chicks that we just bought recently. We had nine. I foolishly unplugged the heat lamp overnight, and one died. I plugged it back in. The other eight are doing well. So I'm going to talk about my dead chicken that I had last year. Okay? We previously had... Um two chickens, one killed the other. I didn't know. I thought it died from the weather. The next year we got like four more. It killed three of those and a cat got one. One of three or four of them ran away. And then my older chicken, which was two and a half years old, then died. Okay? Now we have eight baby chicks. Farmers tend to have a lot of chickens. That's a small amount compared to what some people have. Now, I'm not going to use them to fry them or any of that crap. We might have eggs, so we don't have to buy eggs at the store every week. We'll see how it turns out. I'm not hoarding chickens. Okay? I have eight chickens. Well, I'll tell you. I'll be candid with you. I don't care. Come to my freaking house. Have me arrested. Fuck you. Sorry, I swore. Eight chickens. Nine dogs. One outside. Eight cats. One guinea pig, three fish. I'm not hoarding pets. You might say we have a small farm here. We're thinking about getting some goats. But you accuse me of hoarding animals. Up yours. Suck my ass. You want me to accuse me of hoarding something? Maybe I'm hoarding plum trees. Because uh, when the, the you know when the plums hit the ground, or a few that I miss, or I'm too late picking them up, or I miss some of the seeds, boom, 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 boom. Sprouted up a bunch of saplings. I never mowed them down. 
So we have a bunch of plums, plum trees in the front yard. We have some out back. I'm hoarding plum trees. That's what I'm hoarding. I'm hoarding plum trees. I don't hoard pets. I don't neglect pets. I don't run a puppy mill. I know you're probably looking at this. Well, my face is crooked. I can't help it. I was born that way. My upper and lower jaws are both crooked, too. whoop de frickin' do It's not my fault. I can't afford cosmetic surgery. Suck. My. I don't want to say it. I don't want to get flagged. But you were a jerk in junior high. You're still a jerk. You'll never grow out of it. Yeah, you spread your rumors. A few of the other people were saying the same thing. I'm hoarding animals. I am not hoarding animals. We have more than some, but less than people who are hoarding. A lot less, in fact. Okay, so go ahead and spread your untruthful rumors. Spread your lies all around Facebook and crap like that. Maybe the police one day will show up and I'll get in trouble. I'm not running a puppy mill. Okay? I'm not running a puppy mill. Why don't you come to the house? Come knock on my fucking door. I'll let you in. I'll show you. Come on. I'm not hoarding animals. I about had enough of you, dude. Okay, I, I friended you on Facebook. You were one of the people that treated me like crap in junior high school. And another one that's chiming in, too. You can both suck it. I even had one person who was, I, who was, we were kind of, you know, acquaintances, we were okay with each other. He's, uh, he's saying I have a lot of dogs and cats, too. But that's because of the crap that you spread around on Facebook. Which is why I'm getting sick and tired of Facebook. And I might not use it anymore. I don't hoard animals. I don't run a puppy mill. Okay? Go screw yourself. You know who I'm talking to. Daddy Warbucks.